Good morning, everybody. In our fight against terrorists like Al Qaeda and ISIL, we are using every element of our national power our military, intelligence, diplomacy, homeland security, law enforcement, federal, state, and local, as well as the example of our ideals as a country that's committed to universal values, including rule of law and human rights. In this fight, we learn and we work to constantly improve. When we find something that works, we keep on doing it. When it becomes clear that something is not working as intended, when it does not advance our security, we have to change course. For many years, it's been clear that the detention facility at Guantanamo Bay does not advance our national security. It undermines it. This is not just my opinion. This is the opinion of experts. This is the opinion of many in our military. It's counterproductive to our fight against terrorists because they use it as propaganda in their efforts to recruit. It drains military resources. With nearly $450 million spent last year alone to keep it running, and more than $200 million in additional costs needed to keep it open going forward for less than 100 detainees. Guantanamo harms our partnerships with allies and other countries whose cooperation we need against terrorism. When I talk to other world leaders, they bring up the fact that Guantanamo is not resolved. Moreover, keeping this facility open is contrary to our values. It undermines our standing in the world. It is viewed as a stain on our broader record of upholding the highest standards of rule of law. As Americans, we pride ourselves on being a beacon to other nations, a model of the rule of law. But 15 years after 9-11, 15 years after the worst terrorist attack in American history, we're still having to defend the existence of a facility in a process where not a single verdict has been reached in those attacks. Not a single one. When I first ran for president, it was widely recognized that this facility needed to close. This was not just my opinion. This was not some radical far-left view. There was bipartisan support to close it. My predecessor, President Bush, to his credit, said he wanted to close it. It was one of the few things that I and my Republican opponent, Senator John McCain, agreed on. And so, in one of my first acts as president, I took action to begin closing it. And because we had bipartisan support, I wanted to make sure that we did it right. I indicated that we would need to take our time to do it in a systematic way, and that we had examined all the options. And unfortunately, during that period where we were putting the pieces in place to close it, what had previously been bipartisan support suddenly became a partisan issue. Suddenly, many who previously had said it should be closed backed off because they were worried about the politics. The public was scared into thinking that, well, if we close it, somehow we'll be less safe. And since that time, Congress has repeatedly imposed restrictions aimed at preventing us from closing this facility. Now, despite the politics, we've made progress. Of the nearly 800 detainees once held at Guantanamo, more than 85 percent have already been transferred to other countries. More than 500 of these transfers, by the way, occurred under President Bush. Since I took office, we've so far transferred 147 more, each under new significant restrictions to keep them from returning to the battlefield. 